Hi, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video in our series of Excel basics, more importantly, uh, basic functions that we can use within Excel, okay, is going to concentrate on the function called average, which is going to calculate the average of a set of values for us, or a range of values. Okay? So what I have here is I just have a data set, okay, you can see that I've got one, two, three, four, there's five columns, and actually there is 12 rows of data here, so in total there's 60 observations in this particular data set. And what I'm interested in is, I'm interested initially in what is the total average of all of those values, okay, what is the average response, what is the average observation. Now in Excel it's very easy to do this, the function to calculate the average is actually called average okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the average of this whole data set and put it in this particular cell here so once again to go into function mode we hit equals okay oh actually let me activate the cell by clicking on it to go into function mode we hit equals and then we spell out the name of the function in this case it's called average okay followed by an open round bracket and then what we do is we specify the range of values uh, that's the location of all the values where where that we want to calculate the average of so I'm going to specify here from C3 I'm going to click on C3 and I'm going to scroll down to this bottom right hand cell here which is G14 okay and I'm going to close my round brace and I'm going to hit return and what that tells me here is that the average of those 60 observations okay, is 68.3333. We could round that to a number of decimal places, but I'll leave the rounding function for another video uh, in this particular series. Okay, So that's the first application of average. That's the average of this whole range of values. Like in the previous videos, I might be interested in just calculating the average of specific columns. So let's calculate the average of the first column. And let's put the average value in this particular cell here. So once again, to calculate the average, we go into function mode by hitting equals, and then we spell out the name of the function, which is called average. So A-V-E or A-G-E, followed by an open round brace, and then I specify the range of values that I want to calculate the average of. Okay, so there's the range of values from C3 to C14. I close my round brace and hit return, and the average of that column is 68.75. If I want to calculate the average of all the rest of the columns here, well, all I have to do is click on this cell here. That's where I've specified my original function. And what I do is, in the bottom right-hand corner, where that sort of square is, okay, uh, you see my cursor has changed value, okay? So I go over this here, okay, and I drag it across, okay? So I'm going to drag this across to the, to the, to the fifth column. And then what it does is it calculates the average of each one of those columns separately, okay? So that's the average of their columns. If I want to calculate the average of the rows, once again, let's say the first row here, and I want to put the average in this particular cell, I just activate the cell by clicking on it, I go into function mode by hitting equals, and I spell out the name of the function, which is called average. So A-V-E or A-G-E, followed by the round open round brace, then I specify the range of values, which is from here to here, okay? And I close it off, and I hit return, and that gives me an average of 68.2. Once again, if I want to apply this function down across each of these rows individually, I just select the function here, the cell, the bottom right hand corner, and I drag down, and that will apply the average all the way down that particular that particular column. So actually, 68.2 is the average of the first row. This 64.4 is the average of this particular row here, which is row which is on row seven, okay, and so on and so forth. Okay, guys, once again, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And I hope this video was somewhat helpful and intuitive. Once again, thanks for your time.